When I was a little girl, my mother gave me and read to me a book called The Country Bunny and the Little Gold Shoes. Now this is a book about a mummy bunny who has about 24 little bunnies and the time comes up for the auditions for the Easter bunnies. As most of us did not know before this book was written, there are in fact five Easter bunnies because they have to cover the whole world. And the Easter bunnies are normally big male jackrabbits. The country bunny, the little mother bunny, wanted to become one when one of the jackrabbits died, and so she went to the Easter Hill to audition for the grandfather bunny, who uh, said to her finally, after she had run and fetched and carried eggs and done all the things she was supposed to do, that she was indeed a wonderful bunny and he would take her, but she was a mother and he knew she had little baby bunnies at home and she wouldn't, she wouldn't be able to take the time out to do this. She replied that her children now were um, of an age when they looked after the house themselves. She had taught two of them to do the laundry, two of them to do the ironing, two of them to set the table, two of them to do the cooking, two of them to do the washing up, two of them to clean the house mop the floors, etc. And she went through all the organizational needs of her household. And then, uh, without breaking stride, she said, and two of them paint paintings so that the others will have something beautiful to look at. Two of them sing while the others are working. Two of them um, play parts and act stories so that the people who are uh, cleaning the floors, etc., will have something to hear. And this was, I realized only much later, my mother's introduction to me to arts in our lives, because the arts are not separate. They're something that are included in everything we do. Not to mention the fact that it's a powerful feminist statement because the country bunny got to be one of the big jackrabbit Easter bunnies, just the way she was. <laughs> Thank you.